Crescent Moon Roa is probably the most notorious of the top tiers of Melty Blood. A good portion of the fighting game community knows this character is an absolute monster. My goal here is to tell you why. As always, if you like the content, leave a like and subscribe for more fighting game content. Now let's get into this. Roa excels in two specific categories, zoning and pressure. Being able to seamlessly transition between the two for whichever situation is best. The key to this is his orbs. There are two categories of orbs, one that detonates horizontally, which can be used for zoning or starting pressure or combos. The ones that detonate vertically, these are generally used to continue pressure for good damage or okizeme. When setting these orbs, you can try to punish him, but Roa has a unique characteristic, allowing him to cancel specials into specials. So after setting an orb, Roa can cancel into his 2-2 series, which not only charges up his lightning bolt special, but also lowers the end lag. Or he can use his 2-3-6 series, which has good reach and can keep the opponent out. So you'll need to get into his face right away and attempt to punish the startup. Once these orbs are set up, that's where the fun begins for Roa. Orbs stay on the field for 13 seconds and can be either charged or uncharged. An uncharged orb is plus 19 frames on block while charged are plus 27. On top of that, horizontal orbs hit almost full screen, and if either orbs are charged, they become air unblockable. Roa's entire goal is to use horizontal orbs to gain pressure and open you up into combos that knock you down. He can set up even more orbs, continuing the pressure. Because he has plenty of ways to mix up the flow of pressure, a lot of times the defender has to take big risks to get out, and if the risk doesn't pan out, Roa gets a great punish off it and puts them right back into the blender they're trying to get out of. Even if you play patient and block all of it, the orbs have amazing chip damage and will eat away your guard bar. So if you don't take the risk and try to escape, you'll just be punished harder. Outside of orbs, once Roa has you in the corner, he probably has stocked up a bunch of lightning and can let it go using 2-2-C, which will also punish any escape attempt. Mixing this, Orbs, special canceling, and the universal rebeat mechanic, a single neutral win can easily snowball into a win for Roa. So what do people do against this character? Well, a lot of times they simply try to rush him down. If he can't get orbs set up, he can't get to the best part of his kit. Unfortunately, Roa has a plethora of defensive tricks. Because he's a Crescent Moon character, he has access to a lot of universal mechanics that help a ton. EX Guard allows him to make space, Shield allows Roa to reversal out of gaps, gain advantage using 236C, or score anti-air counter hits. Shield Bunker can force a situation back to neutral, and his heat activation is larger than most characters, which allows him to place a charged orb, which is his entire goal in neutral. Roa's normals are overall pretty lackluster, outside of his 2C, which is an advancing low that can easily catch gaps or pokes that aren't disjointed and 2C can be easily converted into a combo, utilizing rebeats. So yeah, that's how Roa got the nickname War Crimes. Probably the most well-rounded of the top three of MBAX characters, I think. While he's extremely strong, this character is not easy to pilot, and you'll spend hours upon hours in training mode. So be ready for that. But if you put in the work with this character, you will be rewarded with one of the strongest characters in the game. So let me know, does this character seem fun? to either fight against or play as? Or is this a character you're going to try to avoid at all costs? Let me know in the comments below. See ya.